Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Let me tell you this. I have had so many submissions this weekend with so many different things that I've had to just filter out everything that's not a six-star nexus. And look, I know that I'm going to include six stars in some Cavalier nexus every once in a while. But if a six-star is not involved, I know some of you have had crazy five-star nexus. You've got a, a free apocalypse from your Nexus. That's amazing. So please don't take it personally that I didn't include your five-star screenshot. It's just, uh, there was some good, there's some bad, and there's some ugly Nexus submissions. And I think the six-star Nexus are the ones that are the most um, important and also the most interesting to viewers. And so I try to cut out the content. Because if I, if I put in everything, these videos would be half an hour long. And I just don't think your time's worth that. So we're going to do these in about batches of 50, five, zero. That's how many submissions we have. This is round number one of, God, who knows. Uh, P. Django, how about this? Uh, Super Scroll New. I would say that's an ugly Nexus. We're starting out with an ugly Nexus. Uh, Chrysophilix? Chrys Chrysophilix? I, I, that's so hard to pronounce. Spider Ham. Makes me think of uh, Webby. We'll see her in a moment. Zach Man, how about Apocalypse, Doctor Doom, or Void? This is just an amazing, beautiful Nexus. Three of my favorite champions. I think you got to awaken Void with that, right? Also, Zach Man, in his class space Nexus, Archangel, Awaken Domino, or Deadpool X Force. You got to go Archangel there. Two, two awesome Nexus between this and this. Just, he won the game yesterday. Oh, he also got a six star in, like I said, I'll, I'll include these if they're a six star every once in a while, not all of them. Ultron in his Cavalier Nexus. How about Grey Paladin, Sentry, Deadpool X Force, and Storm? Yeah, that is an ugly Nexus, but I appreciate the data awakened is namor with the class-based mutant nexus this is a pretty dang good nexus either namor or cable and you've already got jubilee awakened uh georgie six also a mutant nexus just like myself i think that was a very popular choice yesterday uh domino namor old man logan gotta go namor georgie also got in the regular nexus guardian silver surfer or electra not bad Woogie Boogie, another mutant Nexus choice. How about uh, Sunspot or Awakening Archangel? Boy, that is a tough choice. That is not obvious to me. Huh. I think if I was definitely going to use Archangel immediately, I'd awaken him here. But if you're playing the long game, Sunspot's the choice. This is submitted courtesy of my man Butters in honor of my Nexus. I don't know where he got this picture, but... Uh, you know, it's me teaching. I look I look like I'm apparently about to chew a student out. Weird to see me without a hat, right? Uh, mildly impressed. Now I am have the hat and the sunglasses on. Somewhat impressed. Jar of mayonnaise. Full-blown MMA WWE crystal gather. Back to the crystals. Steve Sheehan. Rocky Raccoon. Mrs. Marvel, Thing, you know, Thing saved that one. That's all I'm saying, Steve. How about Corvus, though? He went for the Cosmic, which is a pretty big risk to get Corvus or Captain Marvel movie, I would assume. Maybe Cosmic Ghost Rider. Oh, definitely Cosmic Ghost Rider. Not a maybe about it. Uh, Corvus pulled, popped up. That's amazing luck. And then Steve also sent these uh, with his name on them, just in case. So Steve, also shout out to your account, Steve2023. Mr. Suave, fellow YouTuber, shout out to my man from Australia, awakened to Symbiote Supreme, definitely didn't get the Doctor Doom or Black Widow Clairvoyant he was hoping for, but still not bad. Toxic Slayer, Sunspot, Infinity Man, or Elsa Bloodstone, that's a very solid Nexus. I think I actually use Elsa more than Sunspot, but I can't blame you there. Black Widow Clairvoyant, he lucked out on that first frame of his uh, very risky uh, mystic Nexus crystal. How about Anthony? Awakening is Omega Red. Didn't have to use an Awakening Gym like me. Just a flat out Awakening for Omega. Also, Anthony went for Dr. Doom or Black Widow Clairvoyant. And this is what you can expect. Not that Mojo, Mephisto, and the Hood is a bad Nexus. It's still a really solid Nexus, but it's not what he was hoping for. JB6887 with a very disappointing, ugly Nexus. Bishop Solid. I would go with him. I feel like it's such a requirement. I was shocked that mine. Last night, if you missed it, check out the video, but watch out, headphone users. I got Omega Red first, 
then Havoc and could Awaken Sabretooth, which would be my backup choice. No Cyclops in mind, or Beast. I feel like Cyclops or Beast are usually a requirement, and in this case, both are. Hey, Awaken is Archangel, though, and the other Nexus, so don't feel too bad for him. Chaos Penguin, Star-Lord, Iron Fist, nope. Six-star Omega Red, no thanks. This is our second six-star appearance in a Cav Nexus, Psycho Man this time. Big Dog 6211. There were a couple people who messaged me saying, Prof, I think we deserve compensation. I don't think Shang-Chi or the other previous featured champions are in the basic. And I said, well, I'll check it out and let you know if I see any. I checked it out. This is proof. That is not true. That is fake news. Shang-Chi is in the crystal because otherwise Big Dog would not have opened him in the skill-based Nexus. Congratulations. Professor X, Cosmic Ghost Rider, Cable of Crossbones. I would imagine this is not true. I would imagine he went with Cosmic Ghost Rider, but who knows? Maybe he likes Cable more, or maybe he's got Apocalypse. I don't know. Professor X also Red Mags, saved him from Gambit and Deadpool X-Force, who already awakened. Wow. The Dad Bod for Crank. Look at that. Also, Crank awakened his Tigra. I think I would have awakened Morningstar instead, but maybe you used Tigra more. OMG, it's happening. Awakened his ghost, and Void was also in it. That's a beautiful Nexus. Also, Archangel versus Sunspot. The debate continues. Didn't we see this exact Nexus in there? Archangel versus Sunspot. It's like the third time we've seen this. Who would you choose? Obviously, Sunspot doesn't need the Awakening as much, though he benefits from it. But I think I might go Archangel. That might be controversial. Mr. Bentley, six-star Doctor Doom from a regular Cav Nexus incredible three star five star nope six star indian baller with a uh hulk themed science nexus crystal which is uh i think the first of those we've seen went with the mortal hulk over red hulk i would have gone red hulk uh but i know a lot of people who disagree indian baller got a domino versus a dark hawk and a miles morales congratulations rook Aegon sighting for the first time out of these nexus crystals Rook, also Neymar over Awakening X-23 and Deadpool X-Force. Yes, please. How about Big Soli Mang, the alcoholic guillotine? Nope. Doctor Doom, that last panel of the, I presume, mystic six-star Nexus. Amazing. Team Weapon X. There's no Weapon X, obviously, in these crystals, but X-23 X marks the spot. Definitely would have awakened X-23. Devil's Advocate. Shang-Chi, our second proof that he is in these crystals. Uh, in between Hell's Kitchen and Massacre. Love Massacre. That'd be a great backup. Also, Symbiote Supreme versus Awakening Juggernaut and the Hood. Solid. Though I'm sure not what you were top after. Havoc for Tesla 99 over OG Spidey and Rhino. Dark King awakened his Doctor Doom against Cyclops and Bishop with a regular six star Nexus. Another Doctor Doom sighting for somebody. How about Morgan Rocks 24, Archangel over X-23 and Cyclops, very solid mutant nexus. Morgan Rocks 24 wasn't done. My prom date, Invisible Woman, Iron Package, nope. How about Cosmic Ghost Rider in the regular six-star nexus? God of War, Awaken his Omega Red. I can now say I have an Awaken Omega Red with you, bud, in the mutant nexus. JJC 27, Shang-Chi in the six-star basic nexus. I see green, ugly, ugly, ugly Nexus. Now, some of you love Mr. Fantastic, and you're going to push back on this, but Moon Knight, Loki, Mr. Fantastic is not, especially already already having him, not what you're hoping to see in a six-star Nexus. But, you know, better than some. Don't feel bad for him, though. He chose the uh, science and got a mortal abomination. So, how fantastic is that, literally? And the Fantastic Four of Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman to boot. Icy Green also had one more Nexus that he pulled a uh, White Mags from. Evan, one of Evan Peterson's favorites. Shout out to Evan. Pocado Power, six-star Guardian, another six-star sighting from a regular Cav Nexus. Also another six-star Silver Surfer. He got two six-stars out of five. That's crazy. And there you have it. Well, YouTube, my goal is always to keep these videos under 10 minutes. Sometimes I can't accomplish this, but in this case, I can if I end this soon. So let's wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. We'll have a lot more of these this weekend. This is just episode one of many, but I take them in chunks of 50 so we can get under 10 minutes when we, when we when possible. That's possible today. Have a great rest of your weekend. Congrats to everybody who's featured in it.